Okay, so here is our answer key for solving for y. And we have several different types on here. Okay, so for number one, if we wanna get y by itself, Right, the only thing that's sitting over here with it is the 3x. So we're going to undo adding 3x by subtracting 3x. These cannot be combined, so we'll get y equals negative 3x plus 6. Number two, okay, if we want to solve this for y, again, we're going to get rid of this x. It's the only other thing sitting by it, so we'll undo a positive, right, we're looking in front of it. We'll undo a positive 9x with a negative 9x. So we'll have 3y equals a negative 9x plus 12. Then we're not done yet on this one because we still have the number in front of y, right? So we'll divide, we'll undo multiplication with division. That goes in every single term. Okay, so if we divide with every single term, that will give us y equals a negative 3x plus 4. Okay, number 3, solve for y. Okay, we're going to get the x moved, so we'll move a positive 2x with a negative 2x. Sorry, I'm not in my classroom. Everything's set up a little bit different today, so we're going to do the best we can. Now, be careful with your negative. This is a negative 1 half y equals a negative 2x plus 6. Okay, then we can either undo this one half by dividing by negative one half. And remember, dividing by negative one half is the same thing as multiplying by two. The key is that it has to happen in every single place. So you're not taking half of a number, right? Dividing by this one, negative one half is really the same thing as multiplying this by negative two over one. Okay, so these will cancel and we'll get y equals a negative times a negative is a positive four x. A positive times a negative is a negative 12. Number four, okay, we'll move a positive 5x by subtracting 5x. And then we'll undo multiplying with division in all three places. Now the five thirds, we can't do anything to reduce, but the two negatives do turn into a positive. And then a positive divided by a negative is a negative, so we'll get five thirds x minus three. Number five, the y is over here on the right side, so the other thing that's over here with it is this eight, so we're gonna move a negative eight by adding eight. Okay, then we'll undo multiplying by two by dividing by two. So we get 3x plus 4 equals y. If you like that better in its other format, right? y equals 3x plus 4. Number 6. We'll move our positive 3x with a negative 3x. Again, watching our sign, that leaves us with a negative y equals a negative 3x minus 14. So we really have a negative 1 sitting here. Okay, so we'll divide by negative one in all three places. So we have y equals three x plus 14. Number seven, don't let the fractions throw you off. We still wanna move the x first. So this is a positive x over four. So we'll move that with a negative x over four. So we'll leave us with y over three equals a negative x over four plus five. We will undo division with multiplication. And again, make sure we're multiplying this entire side by that three. So that will leave us with y equals a negative three fourths x plus 15. Number eight, actually fold this so I can see better. Number eight, we're gonna move the positive 4x by subtracting 4x. So that leaves us with a negative 3y minus seven equals a negative 4x. We're gonna undo subtracting seven by adding seven. Now, if you would've moved those in reverse order and moved the seven first and then moved the x, that would be fine as well. As long as you get them both moved over, then we'll undo multiplication with division. 
two negatives make a positive. A positive and a negative make a negative. Number nine. All we have to do, right, there's nothing else sitting over here with the y except this two, so we'll undo multiplication with division. So it says y equals five over two x plus four. Number 10, we'll move our positive 8x by subtracting 8x. So 10y equals a negative 8x plus 20. We'll divide by 10 in all three places. Now these need to be reduced. Okay, we wanna make sure we have our fractions in reduced form. So negative eight over 10 is gonna to reduce to a negative four fifths x plus two. 